The new the Sherman S, the latest version, uh, come in. Let's have a look and see what's inside and see what the changes are. And it's already have the upgraded pedal installed and the um, the trolley handle and also the new the clip in there. So what we're gonna do is we're going to open it up and uh, well just have a look at the the inside. Hi, I'm Kevin. Welcome to my channel. Uh, today I'll be reviewing the uh, Sherman S, the uh, the latest model which has already got the uh, new uh, upgrade uh, installed already. So uh, we're going to take a look and, uh, and also look at the upgrade kit as well. Let's get started. So what we've got here is the upgrade kit. So you got the uh, two uh, one pair pedal, and you got the uh, new handle there, and a little seat, and the two clip. You can see there it's a. Uh, I suppose they're stronger clips. That's what they meant to do. And the uh, speaker. I'll show you got the rod there, and the. Uh, The screws now the accessories are clearly marked so with the trolley handle screw and see there so that there's four in there on this pack and it's actually labeled so that is for the trolley handle two on each side and if we look at the uh, the suspension new clip the stronger clip so you've got one here two here and I say the screws are also labeled as well and uh, see so this is a pack of screws here okay suspension base screw so there's eight in there so this is actually for this bit so you remove the old one and replace it with a new one with the new screws and um, now the speaker you can choose to replace that if you want to uh, but it's up to you the pedal the pedal itself okay if you remove the old one uh, it comes with the the whole back which is clearly labeled the pedal lock caterpillar spare parts okay now you can fit all this back in when you remove the old one you should be able to see how it is being put in and you just replace this back to it and uh, this is a large one which is not adjustable so it's one piece which is uh, stronger and yeah so this is the set of screw and you've got a pedal rod fixing screw as well okay four of those and here we've got some uh, suspension uh, suspension click screw that's clearly marked there okay another pack there and this is the uh, pedal rod, so this goes with that. And this long rod here is to uh, to push through to get the little rod out, so it makes it easier. So if you use this to push out, uh, and that is it really. It's uh, it's not much to it. So when you remove the old one, and then you just refit refit the new one, and all the screws are clearly marked. So here we have the uh, Sherman S, as you can see. Uh, this is the new version upgraded one so we're going to start off uh, removing the bottom bracket okay and then the uh, I'm gonna leave the trolley handle on there and then uh, we're gonna remove this uh, the battery pack and have a look at the clips
So on the uh, Xiaomi Nest, you remove the bottom uh, bracket and the screw here as well. So there's three screw, one, two, three, and the bracket comes off. And then you remove the top bracket, two screw, and that comes off. And then you remove the one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve screw. And then be very careful. And you can see here, this is the uh, the wire for the black cable of the battery, and the uh, the plus as well. So you can disconnect that, uh, pull this out, and disconnect it. But the other one, it's uh, it's very hard to pull out because sometimes it gets stuck. So you gotta be very careful not to cut this wire. Okay, that is the bit that you have to watch out. So and that is uh, when you lift this up, uh, it's better to have something on here so that you can lean the battery on. So as I say, be very careful when you lift up the battery and not to cut this wire. Uh, now if I lift this up. And see here so over here this is the new bracket okay and you can see how it's fitted so obviously you remove the old one and replace it with a new stronger one as i said before uh this clip is a stronger clip and uh and see here uh they haven't made any changes on the uh on the battery casing here so you still got the uh, here over here metal rubbing against metal obviously uh, I think that it, this is by design and this is the uh, stronger bracket it's probably stronger than the one before so it can uh, more wear resistant and uh, that is uh, how you change the bracket okay um, so it comes with a screw as well so you can replace the screw just in case you don't have any uh, lock nut liquid because the screw already have some lock nuts uh, a paint it on there uh, so yeah you can see there's a lot of lock nuts on here just make sure you put them back on otherwise uh, you know they do become loose after a while and uh, and then your Sherman S will fall apart if you don't uh, uh, put some lock nuts onto there to stop the screw uh, getting loose and uh, yeah so so it's quite straightforward the only thing is just be careful that battery cable when you lift the battery out, okay? So for the uh, the sh the trolley handle, it's a quite easy change. So just two screw, 
on this side and two screw on the other side and then take it off and then put the new one back on uh, that's it that's how simple it is on the trolley handle so for changing the speaker you need to unscrew the two side screw on the light bracket so once the screws are out the speaker will come off and then you just change the speaker it's just plug and play that's the speaker the trolley handle is two screw on this side speaker which is under the light two screw uh, you see the clips already the, the suspension clip and the last thing is the uh, the pedal so for the pedal what you do is you loosen this first this one here and this one so turn it anti-clockwise so that it raises high so what it does is this uh, goes in and it tightens the little rod okay there's a little rod there go along here so loosen that and bring it up you don't have to take it all out you know uh, just loosen it and take it off and then you've got four screw so you loosen the four screw here and then you've got to be very careful take it out very carefully slowly and there you go so you've got four screw in there and this is the mechanism okay so you see how it's done so you just replace all this so you can loosen this and then take this out okay so you turn this to loosen it and this whole thing will come off and that thing will come off as well so this whole mechanism and then you remove the rod so I'll quickly show you how to do that uh, yeah. so I've got this one here Let's just loosen it and see so that comes off like that so that comes off and this little spring here so push that in so there make sure it doesn't bounce this out so that's a little mechanism here so you see how easy it comes off <laughs> the bits will fly everywhere so let's put that aside And this is the mechanism there like this. Okay. So there's a little notch there that catches the bottom there. <sighs> so that notch goes in like this. So that stops it moving. Okay. And the spring goes on top. So you remove this. And then this rod should be loose so what you can do is to uh, yeah, take it off if you want now it's not uh, clicking anymore you can see there so the rod that you have, okay, you can just use that to bash this uh, this thing out. You see that? So when you bash that, that comes off. Okay. So you bash the whole thing out. The whole two rod comes out and. It's a little ratchet there. So this is how you uh, do it. So I'm going to put this back in. So make sure it's level. It's a pain in the neck. Let's do that. This bit here. I'll just use this. That's the uh, ratchet there. So basically, you remove the rod and then change the pedal and pull everything back. I'm going to put this back. Ratchet there.
Oops. You see that? So that comes out, it doesn't work. So the spring flies everywhere. So this has to be perfect. Yeah, so it's flush in perfectly. Let's put this back. So that's what the kit come with. This thing here, the whole new verse um, clip system. So just replace the whole thing. And obviously we've got a plastic cap here. That goes in like that. And then you've got this uh, screw there, like this, okay? And uh, we pop this back in. Pop this thing back in like that. Hold it down and tighten it. This is flush, and we put the screw back. This screw stops the rod moving out, so it keeps it in place. Okay, so that is all back in place. So. Make sure you tighten them, but not too tight on the uh, bottom because it's got the locking nut and washer. So just tight and that's it, not too tight. So it doesn't break the plastic. And same again here, just tight, but not too tight, okay? Don't force it tight because uh, because it's only uh, plastic is tightening it on. But on the case itself, the battery case, make sure you put the uh, lock nut uh, liquid in there and then tighten it, okay? So when you tighten it, you can't turn no more and that's it so don't over tighten it otherwise you uh slip the uh the, the, the inner socket and then um, and then you have problem taking it out okay because they're they're not very strong those ones they're not deep enough so uh, that's what they uh, uh use on the king songs originally and uh, so on the s22 so just tight but not over tighten it so that it breaks the uh the socket uh, so this one can be tight, okay, because it's got a locking nut on there. But again, always use a lock nut on these uh, battery casing because this is a heavy battery uh, magnesium alloy. And you need to make sure those screws are tight and keeps that in place. Otherwise, the structure will move and uh, it will break off because it's quite a heavy battery as well. And uh, again here, you've got four for this uh, screw as well. So tighten it. Uh, we'll lock that and that's it so this is the Sherman S upgrade kit thank you for watching